video to show off the Microverse Content Browser. Uh, the Content Browser is basically a faster way uh, to place content and uh, work with predefined stamps uh, than using the Inspector. Um, the Inspector works, but it's so general, and uh, when you start using a lot of asset store content, uh, things can come you know, in all these different packages and be all over the place. And so this is a nice way to bring all of those into one place uh, where you can work with them. And uh, the content browser currently supports height, texturing, vegetation, objects, and audio. Um, and so if we click on any of these tabs, we'll see some available uh, predefined stamps. And uh, if you go to the height tab here, we'll see that we have a lot of different categories of stamps. And uh, some of them I have in my project. Uh, so like these Canyon Hills, and the Microverse examples, which is what the uh, example assets are built off of, uh, or off these three stamps. And um, you'll see there's this long list of stamp packages. And if I click on one of these, which I don't have installed in the project, uh, it will give me an image that I can click on or download link, and that will take me to uh, where I can get that stamp, which in most cases is the asset store, but for some free stamps, uh, such as this Mountain One and Canyon Hills. Uh, they're available for free, and it'll take you there, and you can download them. Um, and we have some other free ones, like this Stamp It example. Uh, that's actually a really great collection, because it has a stamp or two from all of these packs, so that you can see uh, what kind of stamps you're getting and, and try them out yourself. And you could build amazing levels with even just that free pack. Uh, and the idea here is to get more content developers to bring their content into this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, so that we can have a really nice experience um, uh, placing uh, content rapidly. And um, for example, if I go over here and I select the desert, I can just drag this guy out, and then I have this desert stamp, and um, I can place that wherever I want with a click, and now I have desert in this area. Um, and that makes it really nice. Most of these stamps, uh, the current ones, are set up as like little biome stamps, essentially. And uh, same thing is true for like vegetation. Like these are actually not just like a single rock. They're actually uh, a setup for uh, placing forest in an area with, with all the rules set up for it or placing detail grass in an area. Uh, and then finally we have, um, and this is all from the included examples, we have little house stamps. Um, that I've showed off before. And so if I drag one of these guys in, you can see it's created a house here. Uh, it's placed it at zero in this case. Um, and uh, made a big hole because that house is set to, um, set to modify the terrain to its height and clear out vegetation in the area and texture that area with a specific texture. Um, so, uh, Let's get rid of this guy. So because microverses stamps, you can combine them to create really complex, you know, biomes or hierarchies of things. Uh, like, for instance, this house is actually not only the prefab, but it's a several different stamps. Um, I may add some more categories for this based on, on you know, if, there, if we need some sort of, like, biome tab or something like that. Uh, but you can create these yourself for your project. So if you have a lot of content and you want to organize it into the browser, and then um, uh, content authors can also create these. So if I go in here, uh, you can see there's this little scriptable object for the examples, uh, height maps that we have. And it just has the stamp in here um, specified. And then if you want, you can create a prefab for it instead and then it will use that prefab when it instantiates. So if you have a bunch of settings uh, that you want to um, store for how the stamp comes out, maybe it's uh, for a specific use case, it's a crater, so you want it to subtract from the train instead of uh, take the max height. And this, you can see here on the, um, uh, the texturing stamps, uh, I'm using the prefab option, and I have a little preview image that shows up. And so you can create these, just go to create, uh, microverse and then you can create a content pack and uh, and then I also have content ads uh, which 
if you want to, if you have, uh, if you're a publisher of content and you would like to use this system, uh, just contact me. Um, I'm not looking for a cut of your, you know, profits or anything like that. It's just a nice way to organize content, and I would like to highlight content that has nice setups already included for Microverse. Um, and that will hopefully help sell your content and make things nicer for my users. Um, and here we can see one of the ads. This is for one of those stamp packs. It just has a link to the asset store here, and it has an image to display, and has a pack name and an author name. And when the actual content gets installed, if the author name and pack name uh, match up, then it will uh, replace the advertisement with the actual content in the browser. And then you can set the type of content uh, to the different types that are supported, and that'll show which tab it shows up in. And if you have like, a, let's say you have a big asset pack and it has, a, it has all these types, right? Then you would just make a ad for each type. And then that will show up in the, uh, in the browser and users can click on it and go and decide if they want to buy your content and hopefully they will and then they'll have a, a really nice experience with that content. Um, so I'm really hoping that other publishers uh, are attracted to this idea. I think it'll be good for users and good for sales. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's basically the content browser. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, the other type here is audio, which are ambient uh, sound environments. And um, yeah, I think that's basically it. So uh, I hope this is useful. I hope publishers are interested in this and uh, that it makes everyone's workflow faster and uh, a better experience.